Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure uh, the syslog server settings on 40 gate firewall. So my interface port one is having the IP 192.168.0.152, which is connected to the syslog server. And my syslog server is 92.168.0.110 and it's reachable. All right, so in order to do that, you will have to con go to configuration. This log D setting. So under the settings, you will have to set the status enable. And then you can set the format, whether you want the, you know, the logs to be in CSV format or you want the default one. So I'm going to give it as a default one. In your case, if you want the CSV format, the CSV file, then you can give uh, the option of CSV. And then you will have to set the port, which is uh, again by default 512 sorry, 514, and if you don't put that, it will by default, it will take 514, so you don't have to take, uh, you don't have to specify that. So if you have a custom port on your syslog server, then you will have to specify that here. Then you will have to specify the server IP address. And then you will have to specify the source IP from where the syslog traffic will be generated. In my case, it is going to be so. This is the minimum configuration that is required. And one more thing that we are missing here is the facility. So you will have to choose what kind of traffic you want. This is locked to send the firewall to send it to the syslog server. So I will choose randomly as a user. And there's one more option where you can change the mode to TCP or UDP. By default, I guess it is UDP on port 514, but you can always change it to reliable TCP as well. So I'm not going to change that. What else we have here? All right, then this is all about the settings that we have here, which is required. This is just the, which is the minimum configuration required on the firewall to allow the firewall to send the syslog data to syslog server. And the other thing that you can check obviously is the config log syslog filter. In the filter, you can set multiple things like show full configuration will give you the entire configuration. So this is the filter, which is, I believe, the default filter. So you can obviously, uh, you know, set the filter according to your environment. So there are multiple options available here. Whether you want to follow the traffic and most of the options are already available. This is going to be the filter where you let you will set the filter as to what you want the firewall to send 
to the uh, syslog server. So. So these are the event levels there you can obviously put that in the filter so that you can control the amount of information that the firewall will be communicating to the syslog server all right then once you're done here you can go to This is log server itself, for example. Okay, this is my syslog server. And you can see the IP address 192.168.0.110 and the firewall is sending the logs as well. And that's the same thing you can find it in So these are the information that the firewall is actually sending to the syslog server. So again, you can always, you know, put the filter and uh, set the facility based on your environment. So that's all in this video. I think I've covered the maximum options that you should be configuring on your syslog. So I think we are done with this video. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay tuned, and please do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.